The views on my larger scale 3D printed models are not that good, so I decided to quit that and go into miniature painting instead. And I'll start my first ever mini paint job with this tiny Batman figure that came with my birthday cake. Every project starts with a good base, so I used a rattle can matte black and then dry brushed Vallejo silver on top. Then I took Tinny Tin for the logo and afterwards it was Batman's turn. I rattle canned him with a grey primer and then the first thing was to paint the cape black again. First I used Vallejo Premium Black, but you can see that it didn't really want to stick to the surface, so I switched over to Game Color Black. Which is way less black and opaque compared to the black I used before, but at least it adhered better to the surface. For the suit I used Stonewall Grey as a base. Once that was painted I used tire black for the boots, the knee pads, the gauntlets and the cowl. To give the cape a simple highlight I dry brushed the high spots with tire black and then with wolf grey. And I didn't like the tire grey for most of the suit so I painted over the gauntlets and cowl with black. But the shoulder plates were painted with tire black instead. Then I used gold yellow for the logo to have a popping color compared to all the grey and black of the suit. For the utility belt I used glorious gold. To create a bit more color variation I mixed a slightly darker grey tone. Then I went to the face where I used basic skin for a start. The utility belt was a bit too boring, so I used gunmetal additionally to the glorious gold. And I also used that for the knee pads, the gauntlets and the boots. With the smallest brush I have, I tried to paint the eyes white. And then I mixed the base color of the suit, Stonewall Grey, with Wolf Grey to paint the highlights a bit lighter. Since this looked pretty harsh, I then tried to wet blend the colors together for a smoother transition. Because even my tiniest brush was too big for those small eyes, I just blobbed in a drop of white and then worked my way to the eyes from the outside with black. To make the yellow logo pop more, I added a bit of white into the mix. Afterwards I dry brushed earth color onto the cape to make it look weathered and dirty. And then I used Vallejo Premium Matte because I really didn't like how shiny the cape and cowl were. Then I loaded up the brush with a watered down mix of the same earth color and used a toothpick for some dirt splatters. The basic skin made him look a bit too bright for my taste, so I went over that with Dark Flash and for the lips I added a tiny amount of Dark Red to the mix. The last step was to grab oil colors and mix them with white spirit to get a nice wash consistency to bring out those tiny little details. He did intentionally look a bit too dirty after the step, but the great thing with oil washes is that you can always easily remove them with white spirit. I did the same for the base and then I called it good. And before we come to the final reveal, this obviously was just an April Fool. Although this was fun, I will stick to my larger statues and don't be too harsh with me, I did really have to rush this one in order to upload it today. I'm currently struggling with both my new Saturn 3s to get them running to finish new larger painting projects for you. So stick around and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>